Almighty Father, we thank you so much for this soul intercessory prayer. Lord, speak to our heart. Let us have understanding. Let, O oh Lord, our life connect to the Word of God so that we can utilize it properly. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Please, let's open our Bible to the book of Luke chapter 18. I read from 15 to 16. God bless you as you are opening. The Lord bless you. Thank you so much for being faithful and turning onto your Bible. Luke 18, 15 to 16. Uh, as you are opening, the topic is let the children come. Luke 18, 15 to 17. And they brought unto him also infants that he may touch them but when his disciples saw it, they rebuked him. But Jesus called them unto him and said, Suffer the little children to come unto me, and forbid them not. Of such is the kingdom of God. Verily I say unto you, Whosoever shall not receive the kingdom of God as little children shall no wise enter into it. I love that. And now, three points we want to consider. Uh, number one, little understanding of the disciple about the commission. What we are sent to do, the work of my father, which I'm going to do, involve children. And the children are like people that are going to the kingdom. Why are you forbidding them? Point number two, lessons of the underage displayed by Christ. Number three, liberating the un un unregenerate from damnation. To come. Let's start from point number one. Little understanding of the disciple about the commission. Let's start from verse 15. Luke 18, 15. Are you there with me? God bless in Jesus' name. Little understanding of the disciple about the commission. And they brought unto him also infants, that he would touch them. But when his disciples saw it, they rebuked them. Why? Why are you rebuking children? Don't you know these people are very important and the one that will make us to have understanding of the kingdom. When you call them, you speak to them before they can come. They need something. So anyone that comes to you in speaking the word of God, please take time. Calm down. Give them the word. Care for them. Address the matter of the kingdom as important as for anybody as important as anyone, please don't chase anyone away from the kingdom. And one thing is this, our character, our lifestyle can chase people away. I want us to look at the word of God in Matthew chapter 5, open the Bible and verse 14. That was our theme for the last program we had, that is the mass evangelism. Matthew 5, 14, so that you know you can't chase anybody away. Ye are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hid. Think about it. Do you want to light to the elderly one and not light the children? No, the light is for the old world. And they do they have little understanding of the commission that I will even send you to go into the old world and make disciples of all nations. You teach them. You baptize them, you bring them to the Lord of Christ, not turning them. And that is do that, the Lord will help us in Jesus' name. And that is why Apostle John was in the Holy Spirit, took the children of the elect lady, very important. The, the first verse, elect the children. And the last verse, the children in Second John, very important. So he took it very important because Jesus has made them to realize that it's very important for them to take the issue of children. In front, they say, certain baby, they are children. Ah, we not withstanding. Bring them to the law. Bring them to bring them to understand the love of Christ. Because when you give them some of them money, they spend it. So why don't you give them the love of Christ so that they can actually use it? They know how to handle it. Have a minister, a priest in Catholic. He told me that he was a young boy of deeper life. That gave him the gospel and he was converted. So it doesn't matter if the children or the people have not given that child the word. How will he give that priest 
that um, scholar, a Catholic scholar, the word of life to change and to understand that it is not about religion, but about righteousness. And it's like that Nicodemus that was combated. Please, don't be limited in your knowledge. If you are still in mere religions, in activities that is actually in the, in the orthodoxy and not in the spiritual of Christ, come to Christ today and understand him. If you are not converted or you are, com you are converted, you are not sanctified. The layer, Adamic layer of, um, of worldliness is not taken away. How will you count the children? Very important. Whatever they are doing, talk them, teach them. So children, Jesus Christ told them in verse 15. Let's look at it. Luke chapter 18, 15. And they brought unto him also infants, that he would touch them. And when his disciples saw them, they rebuked him. Let's now go to point number two. How he continued to deal with the situation. Jesus, he knows. He knows everything. He's the author and finisher of our faith. So he knows how to handle the situation of the infant and whatever they are. Look at it in the word of God in, in point number two. Let's look at number two. Lesson of the underage display by Christ. Look at it in verse 16. And Jesus called them unto him. Look at that invitation. That said, come unto me, all you that labor and I believe. He called them. So he got to use them as an example. The, so that we look at children and learn. He said, suffer little children to come unto me and forbid them not. Don't send them away. Teach them. Train them. Give them the word. For of such is the kingdom of God. Because he told us in Matthew chapter 18, look at it together so that you know. He knows the importance of children and he doesn't just wave them away. Let's look at um, Matthew chapter 18, 1 to one to three. The Bible, Jesus said, at the same time, the Bible says, at the same time came the disciple unto Jesus, saying, who is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven? They are asking questions. They want position. They want to be placed in, 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 they want to, they want a place of reference, of honor, of actually, they want to be better than others. Who is the greatest? Is that the question now? When you are at, it's not sanctified. When you are not living, actually in unity in love. If you are in love, you will not be seeking. You will not be discriminating between John, between Philip, between any of them. You will be one and united. That's why Jesus now pray for them. Father, sanctify them with the word. That word is true. If you are not sanctified, they will not be one. Make them one as we are one. Unity of purpose, of holiness, of evil, of truth, of love, come to sanctification. And it come through the word of God, which is life, which his power and the Holy Spirit is sanctified us. Remember, the Savior, the sanctifier, is the one that is the baptizer in the Holy Spirit, the healer and the coming king. So remember, Jesus is the word and he gave them the word. And that word is the one that can liberate, make us to understand. So he's teaching us from children. Look at verse 2. And Jesus called the little children unto him and set them in the midst of them. And he said, Verily I say unto you, and start ye be converted conversion, a change, a transformation from old nature to new nature and become as a little child, as little children. Can you see he's displaying the underage as example for us? We are learning. He said, and become as little children. You shall not enter into the kingdom of God. There is need for you to forget your position, to forget who you are, to forget what you have achieved, but to come to Christ and humble yourself like a little child. Verse 3, like verse 4, he said, whosoever Therefore, shall humble himself and the little child, the same is the greatest in the kingdom of God. The more you up, humble, the more you exalted. The more you are in the kingdom, the more you are high. The Bible says, humble yourself, therefore, under the mighty of the Lord, you will be exalted in due time. The Bible says, God, the, the Lord have respect unto the humble. The Bible have told us, basically, humble yourself, therefore, I pray God will make us to humble. If my people call by my name, we humble themselves. Immediately before you pray, immediately before you pray, immediately before you ask or seek, so that you will receive. And the first thing is that to say, Lord, you realize and recognize your sin and righteousness. Jesus, forgive me. Come into my heart from today. I follow you. Let's look at number three as we are praying and landing up. Go back. Let's go back to Luke chapter 18, verse 17. Are you there? We just finished 16 before we went to Matthew chapter 18. But now we are in Luke chapter 18, sin 17. That is liberating the, un un the unregenerate from damnation to come. Look at what the Bible says. Jesus is talking now. And you want to pay attention to Jesus? Luke 18 verse 17. Verily I say unto you, whosoever shall not receive the kingdom of God as a little child, shall no wise enter into it. Can you see? You need to pray. 
These children you are turning away. You are thinking they are not important. You call it certain baby. They are just infant. They are not part of this. We, we don't call them to any matter. We don't even count them. Jesus count them. We don't even regard them. Jesus regard them. Because they are the likeness of the kingdom. Have you received Jesus Christ as a, in the form of a child? Humbling yourself, not hiding your sin, not hiding your righteousness, not actually abandoning under the, the, the name of grace, where you are not using grace for salvation. The grace of God that came for you is to humble yourself and know that He came to bring salvation. When He brings salvation, He teaches you to be godly, to actually be sober, to be righteously, and, and be godly in this present world. Are you converted? Are you transformed, translated? Are you redeemed? If not, pray. Jesus, I'm sorry. Forgive me. Oh Lord, come into my life. Take over my life from today. I serve you and I follow you. And so that you can carry the gospel with power. You can carry God with passion. You can know on, now understand the power, the commission, the power and the great commission. When the Holy Spirit come upon you, now you know at that time, the disciples they didn't receive the Holy Spirit. And the Bible told us in when Jesus was talking to them, in Acts 1 8, and ye shall receive power. After the Holy Ghost has come upon you, shall be witnesses unto me. Remember Jerusalem, remember Samaria, and Judah, remember Samaria, and now to the uttermost of the world. Read the word, we are going to read the word. We are going to carry the gospel to the whole world. And the world will see the certainty, the truth, the, the trustworthiness of Jesus, the power in the gospel that, that saves so, and actually send them, rather, by, uh, send them free. Make them free from the bondage of sin and all the bondage. Can we pray? Father, we thank you so much because you have given us the grace to understand that children are important in the kingdom. And we need to have the heart of children to get to heaven so that we can present the gospel with compassion in the power of the Holy Spirit. And so many shall come to the kingdom. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.